if we want to solve this equation for x, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is the inverse um, of both sides. So x is equal to the arc sine of 0 0.65. And since we want to find all of the uh, values of x from 3 pi over 2 to 9 pi over 2, that's radians. So we're going to need to make sure the mode in the calculator is in radians, which it's not. Okay, now it is. So the arc sine of 0 0.65 is approximately 0 0.71 if we round to two decimal places. And um, in order to figure out uh, where this is on the circle, we'll need to know decimal approximations uh, for our 3 pi over 2 and 9 pi over 2. And we may as well just do all the quadrantals while we're at it. So starting here at 0, um, then a quarter of the way would be pi over 2. So pi over 2 is approximately 1.57. So this angle is in quadrant 1. So 0 0.71 would be this angle right here. Okay. Um, but that's not in the range from 3 pi over 2 to 9 pi over 2 because it's in quadrant 1. So uh, next after pi over 2 is pi, that's 3.14. Then 3 pi over 2 would be 4.71. And 2 pi is 6.28, right? And so on, 9 pi over 2 let's see where we have to stop looking for values, is 14.14. So this is where we want to stop. So we want to find values between 4.71 and 14.14. And they have to um, give us a, a positive 0.65 here for the sign. So if we um, remember the quadrants, uh, all students take calculus. All, um, that's all of the trig functions are positive in quadrant one. Uh, students is sine is positive in quadrant two, and we have a positive sign here. So our second answer would be in quadrant two, where sine is also positive. And um, they're going to be the same reference angle. So if I start at pi and I subtract my 0 0.71 reference angle, that makes this angle 2.43, which still isn't in the range 4.71 to 14.14, but we do know that that's our quadrant two answer. This is our quadrant one answer. So to get within this range, we're gonna start with our quadrant one answer and add two pi. So 0 0.71 plus two pi will get us a coterminal angle. So that's going to be 6.99, and that is in the range, 4.71 to 14.14, so that's an answer. Um, if we add another 2 pi, so plus 2 pi, that is 13.28, and that is still within that range, so that would be a second answer. Um, if I added another 2 pi, though, that would definitely be larger than 14.4. So that would be beyond 9 pi over 2. So I'll stop with those two. Now we're going to do the same thing for our quadrant 2 angle. We'll start with that 2.43 and add a lap around the circle to get a positive coterminal. So 2.43 plus 2 pi is 8.71. Okay, that would be in the range that we want. If we add another 2 pi, then we have 14.996, which is about 15, and that's bigger than, um, bigger than our range of 14.14. So that one we toss out, and these would be the three angles um, that are within that range. So 6.99, 8.71, and 13.28 would be the three angles that you'd want to pick. Okay, hope that helps.